Hey guys, recently on the r slash void Linux subreddit, uh, there was someone asking about how to install Obsidian on a void Linux because it doesn't have a package in the void repositories. Uh, the two uh, suggestions really are either to install it using universal f uh, packaging formats like Flatpak, AppImage, or Snap, or to use the, uh, the .deb package that they distribute. Uh, there's obvious advantages to both. I personally would use Flatpak in this case, especially if it was a program that I'm trying to keep uh, up to date. However, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, .deb packages on Void Linux. So I'm going to start by opening a terminal. And I'll make that a bit bigger. So now let's use the XBS, XBPS query command uh, repository search and let's look for Obsidian. So we see we get a cursor theme. This is not what we're looking for. So yeah, it's not on uh, Void Linux repositories. So let's jump over to their uh, website. Here's their homepage. Uh, so let's click more platforms to see all their offerings. Here there's uh, these options. There's also an ARM 64 build, which is cool, but we want the dev package today. I think this is only 64 bit. And we're gonna save that. Okay, we'll jump over to our downloads folder and that, while that's still going, there's still a part file. Let's make a new directory just because this might make it a bit messy. Obsidian. Okay, there it's finished. So let's move Obsidian. There. Okay, so here's our .deb package. Uh, so .deb packages really are just archives. Uh, it's the same program that can run on most systems. It's just me .deb is meant for the dpkg command on Debian to understand and know how to install it on the system. So essentially there's a tool on Void Linux called xdeb that can convert this to the xvps format so that it can be installed on Void. So this is what we're gonna use. Uh, they don't recommend using uh, or cloning from master branch because there's some maybe experimental changes. So we're going to go to releases. And there's just one file here. So we're going to download that. Cool. So that's right here. Xdeb. We're going to move Xdeb into our Obsidian and go in there. So it's really just one uh, file. You can even read the script. Uh, it's all here. So it's not executable yet. If we look at the permissions, minus L, uh, it's only read, write, read, read. So we're gonna chmod plus x, xdeb. There we now see it's turned purple on my system to show it's executable. Uh, now next on their website, let's go back. There are a few dependencies that are required for this, so we're gonna go install those here, yes. So you can just copy this command, go back to the terminal, sudo, and run that. I think I already have all of these packages. Yeah, already installed all of them. So you will need to install these. Once that's done, you can simply use dot slash to call the uh, script xdeb. And we use the three flags that they suggest on their uh, GitHub, SDE. And finally, give it that dev package. So Obsidian and hit enter. Now this will take a couple seconds. Cool. So now if we run ls, you can see it's kind of made a mess in here. That's why we put it in its own uh, directory. But essentially it's now done. It's packaged it successfully and it puts the new package in bin packages. So we're gonna cd bin packages. And here it is. This is what we wanna install in our system. So we can do sudo xbps install minus r. So without this minus r flag, um, XPPS install will search the uh, online repositories. We want it to, obviously this is not in the online repository, so we want the repository to be here. So we put a dot, so minus R space dot for this this directory, and then give it the deb, or the XPPS file now. Uh, though also the way this uh, command works is it does not actually want the extensions. So we'll remove dot XPPS and we'll also remove the architecture. 
simply hit enter. Asks us, do we want to continue? Of course we do. Great. Now if we tr open a new workspace and we look there, Obsidian's already come up. And we can run it and it's working. So that's how you can get Obsidian or any dev package really working on your Void Linux system. Uh, I hope this was helpful.